What is up guys, it's Ash back again. Um, crazy one, a third unboxing video in like three weeks. I'm not gonna complain, another new guitar for me. It was my birthday yesterday, so uh, this one's been put together for by myself, my girlfriend, uh, my mum, my brother. So yeah, happy birthday to me. So let's get unboxing, let's jump right into it. So another thing, just a big shout out to Anderton for this one. Um, I ordered it yesterday, about one o'clock yesterday afternoon, and it was here at nine o'clock this morning. So cannot complain about the speedy delivery on this one. That's that's amazing. Okay guys, so here it is, new guitar. Obviously, another Chapman. So this is a Chapman ML1 hybrid. Um, hybrid being, it's got the humbucker in the bridge and the two single cores, so the HSS configuration. Um, I believe these are the um, Chapman Zero. I think they're called Zero or something, or something like that, one of them is. I'll put it in the description, either way. Um, but yeah, it is an older body, I believe. It's got this beautiful quilted maple top on it. Um, it's like a purpley sort of. It's called sarsen black, I think it's called. Sarsen black. Sarsen stone black. There you go. But yeah, sarsen stone black finish. Um, so, I believe. Yep, it's got your five way select switch there. So, obviously, three different configurations. Volume and a tone. Um, it's got this, um, it's Chapman's own uh, bridge with the trim, it's like a floating trim. Um, as I say, uh, Alder Body I believe, um, with that quilted maple top, beautiful, as I've already stated. Then it's got this absolutely gorgeous roasted maple neck. I love roasted maple necks, they just feel amazing. They're so well balanced, um, wonderful rolled edges on the fingerboard as well, not a single sharp fret on there. Um, it's lovely. It just feels so nice in the hand. You can tell it's gonna be fast, it's not gonna be grippy. Um, frets are fantastic. They're nickel frets, I believe, um, which I'd imagine they would be for the price point. This guitar costs 549 pounds, if you were wondering. Um, I'm not sure about the nut. I think it might be a graph tech. I'm not 100% sure, it might not be. Um, just not maybe I'm not sure I will put that in the description also um, yeah beautiful reverse headstock um, standard uh, Chapman um, tuners I'm gonna swap them out for some locking tuners because I hate restringing and the tuning stability is amazing so locking tuners will be going on there um, but yeah once again Rob and the team know how to put a bloody beautiful guitar together that plays well. As you know, I've probably already got, I think I've already got three, so this will be number four to the collection. And I say, I only bought this yesterday at one o'clock or whatever it was, one o'clock half one, and it was here by nine o'clock this morning, so. Yeah, cannot complain whatsoever, and I can't wait to get it plugged in. Um, and I'll be doing a review on this, as I will be doing a review on all the other Chapmans that I have yet to do one on also. I'm also going to do a recap on my ML1 baritone uh, a year after owning it, which will be next month. Um, yeah. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the little video. I hope you like this guitar. It's beautiful. Um, if you did like it, please hit subscribe, like the video, hit the notification bell. Um, I'm trying to grow this channel. Um, also, put in the comments anything you'd like to see me do um, other than shut up. Yeah. Um, but thank you very much. And. I'll see you soon. See you on the next video. See you later. Bye.